Hi, I'm Tom Kerr, editor at Truth and Plenty, and to encourage myself to drink more water, I have a, a beautiful water pitcher. This is actually a jug. This is made from clay. It was made by a potter and in Eastern Europe, and it's got beautiful designs on it. But it's unglazed clay. Instead of being a ceramic kind of glazed on the outside, since it's unglazed, it'll hold water, but through the process of evaporation, the water will is able to seep through. That's why it's a little shiny. The, the water is able to sort of seep through the walls of this vessel. I think it's very clever that they built a cup into the top of it that also serves as a cork. Um, anyway, if you have an unglazed vessel that weeps or the water can evaporate from it, then what happens is the water inside stays really cool and the outside will, will be really chilly. This thing stays really chilly. Even if I put it outside on a 90 degree day when I'm working out there in my garden or something, um, the, it'll be chilly to the touch and the water inside will be a nice, um, fresh, tasty, cool temperature. And the same works if you want to irrigate your, sometimes if I forget to drink water, then I'm like, well, I'm probably gonna forget to water my plants and, and they're depending on me for that. You can use an unglazed clay pot like this and you bury it so that they're just a couple of inches above the soil and then the roots of your plants are next to it. And the warmer that the soil gets and the hotter that the sun gets, the more that the water will evaporate because that um, difference in temperature helps to um, basically encourage the water to seep through the walls of, of it. Here's another one. This one has a little glaze on the top, but the rest of it's unglazed. And I use pots like this in my, in my raised bed gardens, and I bury them with just the neck showing, and uh, that way it automatically irrigates my plants, even if I forget about them, or it's especially good if, if you have plants that you know, if, if it's a very hot day or hot summer and you have plants that, that really like to get a lot of water. And then I'll open it up. I'll open one of these up and I'll look inside and check the water level every now and then and fill it up with the garden hose. And um, anyway, those are just some, some interesting um, items that I have that I thought I might show you and maybe um, give you some ideas that might be useful to you. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.